Alright everybody, welcome back. I'm Philip, aka Elf, and this is another episode of Vanilla Hardcore. Alright, let's get started. I had a little bit of off-camera work, and, and the issue that we had in the last episode was that we could not find Lapis. Well, I fixed that problem. So the first thing we're going to start the episode with is a little enchanting. We'll go ahead and take our books out. All of our lapis. Let's go ahead and just convert all this back into to little bitty, little bitty regular lapis instead of great big blocks. All right, and the first thing I want to do is pickaxe. Efficiency, unbreaking, efficiency. I think we're actually going to hit the unbreaking just because it's more useful. I mean, eventually we'll need an efficiency if we start doing great big projects, but for right now, unbreaking helps more since we don't have a lot of diamonds. Uh, let's go ahead and knock these books out. Prop one and power one. Unfortunately, we don't have a bow yet. Otherwise, the power one would be really nice. Alright. Prop one. Let's see what we can get here. Can we get another prop one? Sharpness one. That's nice. Feather falling. I actually think I'm going with the feather falling, guys. Go back in there. Alright. See what we get for the last one. Yeah, sharpness one, efficiency one. This one will actually grab the sharpness. And because our sword is actually a little iffy right now, I'm actually just going to go ahead and make another one. Because we're already at about half, well, 80% on this sword right here. So, one stick. Open up our crafting bench. Grab that. And the one thing that we do need now, if we have enough, which we don't, is we actually need an anvil. Yeah, we don't quite have enough for an anvil. That's not too terrible. We can probably get that by the end of the episode. So we'll go ahead and Put those back in there. Drop this block down here. Move this over just to get a little bit of, you know, organization. We'll go ahead and drop these books in here for now. And our lapis. And our sword. There. I think that covers everything we needed. Alright. So I also grabbed a little bit more food. And for this episode, I was thinking that we would start on our farm. But while I was clearing out a little more area down here in our wonderful little strip mine, I, I came across another cave. And don't worry, I actually went and looked. This one is, is not nearly as depressing as the first one. This one actually has, you know, a little bit of meat on it. It's just way down here. Takes forever to get to. This one. How's that look, guys? All right. I was actually filling out this little offshoot and was getting some coal that popped up out of there. and It decided that it was pertinent to try to drown me. All right, so here we go. As you can tell, it's, it's definitely bigger than the last one. So I think we'll start this with just grabbing our redstone that's sitting here all right for the taking. Gotcha. So 
start getting some torches up so you can see. See, look, iron. Hopefully we run into a whole bunch more of that. Pick this up real quick. Really? That's it? Two? Well, no, that was weak. All right. Get over here. Anyone staring down at us? Nope. Anyone staring back at us? Nope. Best feeling you can get. Playing hardcore, walk into a cave that you've never been in before, nothing staring back at you. Good feeling. You realize you can live to cave another day. Alright, pick this up. I'm going to drop this down in our hot bar just so we can see you know, how much we've picked up. And if we get to the point where we end up having a stack, we can actually just go back up to the house and build the anvil so that we can drop that prop one and feather falling. All right, already up to 20. I'm liking this so far. Oh. We've got, we've got a skeleton. Come in. Do you guys like the, uh, the add-on that Minecraft did for Halloween? This is still the 31st while I'm recording this, so that's why we've still got the, uh, the, the pumpkin heads. Anyone else hiding up there? Doesn't look like it. But looks can be deceiving. More iron. See? Deceiving. Creepers everywhere! Looks like, whew, that was close. All right, let's go grab these last two guys. Go ahead and go away. So many creepers. So I got you. Go ahead and drop that torch down. I'm sure there's no more spiders. We've still got one spider over in the corner we've got to take care of. There he is. He decided to come down and say hi. All right, go away. Go away. I will take the string though. Alright, so we ended up picking up a bow. It's pretty badly damaged, but it's a bow, so you know that's always nice. Alright. Let's go ahead and light up this whole area and see what we're working with. It looks like we've got a bunch and just uh, a bunch of coal and iron in here. All right, let's see how far out this goes. This is a dead end. All right, let's go ahead and 
grab all this iron in here, and that might actually do us. As long as something doesn't come down from there and kills us. That'd be a very, very short series. All right, grab that one. We've got coal, coal, coal. There's more iron. Make ourselves a little staircase coming up here. All right. Looks like we're up to 28, and then we've still got all of this up here. I'm hoping for, you know, an eight vein. I mean, it's preferably not, not, not a one. I want more hiding in the walls, come on. Or, or a little three spot. Another little three spot. All right, this one looks like it might have some promise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now that's a little, little bit better. I'll, I'll take nineteen stack veins all day long, especially if they were diamond. But you know who wouldn't? Anyone hiding down here? What do we got? It's got stairs everywhere. All right, see if anything's hiding behind this coal. Just because it's it's sitting here very suspiciously in the corner, in my opinion. Well, look what's behind the coal. More coal. And more coal. See, why can't we get iron? Oh, look! Iron! Oh, more iron. Bring it on. Nice little bit of coal. All right, we're up to 59, so it looks like we can actually head back if we want. But since we're already down here, let's go ahead and check out up here. I see light. Looks like we're going to have some lava down here. And so much. Just, ah. The gravel is unreal. And it just never stops. We had another wall down there, just gravel. I was hoping that there was something interesting hiding behind it, but can't always get what you want. Let's go ahead and eat up. Oh, well, we know there's nothing trying to trying to eat us. All right. What do we have? Let's go ahead and get rid of you. Put a torch up. OK. 
grab this, and that actually pulls us to a stack, which is what we were looking for. Let's peek around this corner. And dirt. There's a couple walls of dirt back there too. Anything hiding in here? Hello, diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. That, that's honestly all I'm really looking for behind dirt and the gravel. And... But behind the dirt is just more dirt. All right. Looks like we're almost at the end of this little dirt pocket. Maybe. All right, yeah. Can we at least get iron or something hiding back here? Well, at least, guys, you know, when we do build our farm, we have dirt. We will never have to worry about running out of dirt. Ever. Ever, 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 ever. I mean, how many times can you say that? Oh, I went mining and I came back with, you know, a stack and a half of dirt. What is something back here? Or are we just going to hit a wall? Looks like a wall. All right. Come back down here. Where do you go? Are you just back down to where we were? Hey, look, I found more iron. Because there's where we came up. And just gravel everywhere, guys. Nothing there. Let's go ahead and come through here. Looks like the start of a ravine. Go ahead and pop these sides out a little bit wider just so we can see a little bit more, make sure that you know we can dodge any arrows coming in. that down here, get ourselves a staircase going, well that's convenient, there's already one for us, just dirt, 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 more dirt, this is just an interesting looking cave. I mean, normally you get, you know, regular cage with some little inlets and outlets and all that stuff and a little bit of lava. Or you get great big ravines. This is just some, like, a ravine in a cave had a baby. And this is what it turned into. The rest of this iron that's just right here. It looks like this will take us all the way home. You know, I can actually get up our walkway. In between our walls of water. Normally I like closing off all like the waterways and stuff in caves just so it's easier to walk around. But in this case, it actually just like points us straight home. 
So in this case, it's, it's useful, and I'll probably end up leaving it. Just because if we get lost, in it, if it's any deeper than it looked there, and in a little bit of the ravine part. All right, let's get up these stairs. Yep, the stairs, so many stairs. Come on, out the house. That was scary. How, oh how, did we get a creeper spot? The inside of the house is light enough. We still have our trap doors laying around. Looks like we have one. Alright, let's, let's take a look up here. It looks like it's good enough up here, too. Um, I guess let's make a couple more torches. Drop some torches in the trees, maybe? There's already torches over there. I'm gonna make sure that we're not getting anything spawning up here. Ah! Shut that. We're gonna. Put a torch here, and a torch here, and a torch here, and a, not there, torch there. Make ourselves a couple more trap doors, and just say, screw you creepers. how we got creepers in here. All right, I will catch you guys back after we get done with all of the smelting. All right, and we're back. Went ahead and got all that iron smelted up, and if you see my hand here, we have a, a nice little anvil to work with now. Yippee! The fact that I'm holding an anvil with one hand is slightly disconcerting, but uh, we're gonna pop that bad boy down here. Crack it open. Go ahead and put this sword in with our sharpness. Woo! All right, now we got uh, boots and chest plate. Prop one. Yippee! Boots. Yeah! yeah. Me and my nice little suit. Not anymore! Alright. These on. Go ahead and drop off the, the helmet and the leggings. Come over here. Pop that into there. Pop that into there. We got prop one, prop one, fire protection one. Eh. For now, let's just go ahead and prop one. Projectile protection. Prop one. Pick those back up. Mine. All right. So we've got all straight protection and then feather falling. Pop these bad boys back in here. And from all those skeletons that decided that it was their duty to try to kill us, we got a couple more bones. Go ahead and put the trap back in here. And is it starting to get close? No, not yet. All right. Let's go ahead and take these, convert those into bone meal. 
And before it gets too dark and we start getting spawned, I might know where that creeper came from. The creeper might have actually spawned out here since I'm too wide now. Let's go ahead and walk around the house and add a couple more torches. That should do it. Eventually we'll replace those with glowstone lamps or something more appealing, but I don't want my house blown up in the meantime. All right, so remember in the last episode we, we threw a bunch of bone meal at this guy and he didn't get any bigger. Why hello there Mr. Zombie. That's a uh, Four more and nothing. All right, let's just try moving these. I mean, this isn't a four wide tree, so like I don't really know what's going on with it. Rah! Because the one on this side is exactly the same. It, it's the the spruce or the dark spruce. Alright, well we don't have a lot of use for our bone meal right now, and we can always get more, so we're just gonna Apparently we just can't make this tree happy. Why hello Mr. Zombie. Why yes, I would love to come and say hi. Mm -hmm. Goodbye. And one thing that I did make right before I, I came back to you guys was I went ahead and upgraded all of our weapons or all of our, our tools. And I had forgotten about that when I put these away. But we start at 15 levels. Efficiency, efficiency, efficiency. One on all of them. So we'll just take that. Efficiency one, efficiency one. We'll take that. Both of you are efficiencies. Grab that. Unbreaking or efficiency. That one's efficiency already. Sure, let's make an unbreaking shovel. Ooh, unbreaking and efficiency. Now that I like. All right, and that just about covers up everything that we can do. Let's just take these leggings and see what we can... Helps if I didn't put away the lapis. Da, da, da. All right, let's try this again. Prop one, unbreaking. Let's try this. Oh, no, just straight prop one for six levels, and we paid three for the last one. Rawr. All right. So, so now we're starting to look a little better. We're nice and shiny. Oh, wait, wait. There. Looks like I have a lightsaber. Whoa. I think I knocked down a torch doing that. There we go. Now we got a torch on our table. And... You, you know, you have to have night lights. Can, can you guys tell I really don't like creepers in my house? All right. And I think that's going to do it for this episode. I mean, let's go ahead and grab you out of here. Grab another sharpness one. Gonna get sharp too. Oh, we need five levels for that. I I think that would be worth uh, going real quick. Who's hanging out out here? I just need a couple more levels. Anyone just just chilling? Anyone? Over 
forget this and go back down to the mines. Say, I left that shut, right? Good. All right. I'll catch you guys back upstairs once I get the uh, five or six levels that we need so that we can get our sharpness to and close out the episode. I came back down, and if you remember, we came up this way, and I went up here. And we decided, you know, come up here, and we saw this great, big, gigantic thing with all this iron and all the coal. And there was this one little direction that we didn't go. Because we came up here, and we're like, oh, that's, that's really far up. Let's go check it out. And I didn't actually check over here. But I came over here to see if there's more iron or something, and, and there's gold. And and wait for it, there, there's there's more gold. And and yeah, there's there's more gold and lava, because everyone needs lava. And a whole new section of the cave. So. I got dark quick. This is actually just like a really cool cave. Now this is back to like the cave that everyone's used to. You got these nice little like passageways and stuff that go through here and just gravel for days. All right, anything hiding down here? Mushrooms. What? It, it, it's a wall of coal. All right then. If only coal were like diamonds. Well, coal is kind of like diamonds. Like being exactly diamonds. Just not hardened over extreme pressure and heat. But you knew what I was going for. Marty Pants. I know you guys are sitting there going, fill up. Yeah, they're the same thing. I learned it. Yes, I'm aware of that. But you knew what I meant. You knew. You knew. Alright, so let's go ahead. Jump down here. Walk back through our that just kind of looks really cool. All right. Come back up into our gold room. Which is what I'm going to start calling that even after we get stuff faking out of it. All right. Grab it. Got the iron. Come back through. Back down into the gold room. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's not bad. Make sure we grab it all. Oh, there's even iron hiding behind here. Ooh, one, two, oh, well, he, ooh, three, four. That's not terrible. There we go. Starting to get a little bit of experience. All right, last time I checked, it said that we needed five levels. I'm a, hopefully we can hit eight just in case for like the one or two mobs that I had to had to beat down into submission. If the enchant cost went up, we'll have enough to cover it. This gold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're getting pretty, pretty lucky here on the gold drops. 
this will really come in handy later, not just for golden apples, because, you know, golden apples are, well, God. But uh, when we start making powered rails and stuff to go from place to place, if we start setting up mob grinders from dungeon spawners, stuff like that, it'd be nice to actually have powered railways to get there a little faster. Did, did we actually go up here? While we're here, let's, you know, check it out. More iron. I, I will definitely take that. And more iron. And more iron. And some coal and more iron wow this thing just doesn't stop going all right I think we found the end of it except for there's probably stuff hidden behind this dirt all right let's work our way back down picking out the iron as we go Let's just take a gander and see how far down this goes. And, you know, find more iron. That That's cool. I don't care who you are. You will never complain about iron. Man, I got too much iron. I can make anything I want. Gosh. Said nobody ever. Looks like we finally found the end of this one. Go ahead and pick this up. All right, got that. And this just keeps going too. I brought almost a full stack of torches this time. Oh. Is, is that what I think it is? I, I think it is. I, I think we're going to come here next episode. Alright. Turn up, pick this iron out of here. And guys, I, I think we might be able to start our uh, first mob grinder here in a couple episodes because I'm almost 100% guaranteed that there's going to be some sort of spawner in there. I just... Pray it's not a cave spider spawner, because cave spiders hurt a lot. All right, let's start heading back, picking up the iron and the coal. Okay, made it up to five. Six. All right, looks like we might be able to hit seven before we get out of here. for days. Ooh, more iron.
Well, at least we will never run out of coal now, because we basically found a coal mine. I think our average coal deposits are sitting at like 12. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 12, 13, 14, 15, 6, 27, 28, holy crap. 29, 30, 41, 42, 43, 53, 54, 55, 56, 56 coal ore in one spot. Those just, those back to back veins are ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and get back because we're now we're at 10 level because of the coal. Looks like it's a good thing we came up here and, and checked that out. All right, let's head back down this way. All we have to do is jump on our little little expressway back. Whee! Right there. All right. And I'll catch you back when we get upstairs. And we're back. Picked up our tin levels down there. I went ahead and started all the, the smelting. But the most important thing at hand is let's, let's put our iron swords together and get ourselves a sharpness too. Now that's pretty. Come at me, bro. Come at me. All right. And actually, I just thought about it. While we're here, and since it only took five levels, this one only takes four. We actually have prot two pants now, too. All right. A little bit of housekeeping. Put that away. And that's going to be it for this this episode, guys. Uh, the next episode, we are probably going to either start our farm or we're going to go down in and start looking through that abandoned mine shaft. Uh, if you want, drop down in the comments which one you'd prefer me to do next episode. Uh, it might be a couple days before the next one comes out or it might come out tomorrow. So uh, pop down there, you know, which one you'd uh, want to see happen. Uh, go ahead and any comments or suggestions you have, just throw them down there. If you like the video, throw a like. If you're new to the channel, throw a subscription or else I'm joking. If you'd like to throw a subscription, you know, they always help, especially on us smaller channels. But uh, I mean, that's all I got for you. So later.